Like over here. Okay, first uh, short comment. Uh, do you know of cooperation is actually evolutional advantage, and this what what we call morals, people cooperating. And sure, yeah, altruism and all that, yeah, cooperation. Yeah, and actually, I think uh, uh, T.S. are these ones who have to be, uh, explain how something came from nothing because God created everything nothing, and and who created God in first place? Okay, so that's your question: Who created God? Yeah, and how God, something came from nothing because Bible tells in beginning God created heaven and earth. Okay, you, you want me to? I'll, I'll address that. Thank you for your question. Here we deal with uh, the question of, you know, if God made the universe, who made God? Well, the, notice the assumption behind that question. The question assumes that everything must have a cause. That, that's the theist claim. Par pardon? That's the theist claim. Yeah. No, the theist does not claim that everything has to have a cause, but rather everything that begins to exist has a cause. The theist does not believe that God was caused. And so if you're talking about, the, you know, if you're saying that that's what, a, you're not talking about theism, if that's what you maintain. God is the uncaused cause. I mean, check the literature. You know, that's the, you know, God is the unmoved mover, the, the, the ground of all being, the uncaused cause and so forth. That's plain without proof. Well, let me say, if you want, if you want to you know, make that sort of a statement, that's fine. But there is nothing that was assumed to be fallacious in Greek philosophy about something being eternally existed. In fact, 200 years ago, or even less, atheists themselves maintained that the universe is self-existent and self-explanatory. Yeah. Bertrand Russell himself said, the universe is just there, and that's all. Well, isn't that interesting? Here he believes that that can be eternal. Okay, you've already asked your question, let me finish. And we'll talk after everything's done, all right? Can I ask more questions? Um, maybe later, you've got to wait for these folks. But interestingly, with atheists saying the universe doesn't need a cause, it's been there eternally, and so therefore we don't need a god. That's the claim that atheists were making. They didn't see anything you know, fallacious, anything metaphysically problematic with something being eternally existent. But now that we know the universe began to exist, people say, oh, well, who made God? Well, why can't there be a god? who is self-existent and self-explanatory, just as atheists assumed that the universe was before we realized that the universe began to exist a finite time ago. In any event, what we do have is that there is something beyond nature, that nature is not self-existent and self-explanatory. That, I think, you'll have to admit. Okay, next question.